okay, this is going to get probably horrendously complicated because we're still so far from unraveling the immune system, which, which immunologists compare to, to a ball of spaghetti, which is a really brilliant image. Um, even understanding just why some people can be infected yet show no symptoms is a really complicated task. Um, early in the pandemic, studies that focused on antibody levels in patients and former patients indicated that people who got severe cases of COVID-19 might have longer lasting immune responses and that asymptomatic people might be at more risk of getting the disease again at some point. But, but antibody levels are just one aspect of immune response. Um, a recently published study has now helped fill in some of the other gaps. It looked at blood samples taken from several hundred male migrant workers in Singapore who lived in densely inhabited dormitories during an outbreak there last spring. And its findings agree with other research in one sense, um, that levels of some antibodies against COVID-19 in the men who got it asymptomatically did indeed fall more after convalescence than in those who had symptoms. Other immune responses, however, including ones involving what are known as T cells, they remained fairly robust, even in the asymptomatic group. And, and that's being carefully interpreted as a sign that immunity might generally remain strong for some time, even in people who caught the disease but had no symptoms. So, so lots of ifs, ands, and buts. Um, like I said, it's complicated.